Have you ever wondered what secrets linger in the shadows when the sun goes down? Imagine spending 24 hours in a house rumored to be haunted, a place where the veil between the living and the dead might just be thinner than anywhere else. Our journey begins at sunrise. The house, an old Victorian mansion, sits isolated on the edge of town. Its windows are like hollow eyes and the front door creaks open as though it's whispering secrets. The air is thick with the musty scent of forgotten years. As morning shifts to afternoon, the atmosphere inside the house grows colder. Footsteps echo through the hallways, but no one is there. In the library, books fall from shelves without warning, their pages fluttering like the wings of a trapped bird. The clock strikes three and a chill runs down the spine. It's in the dining room, where the air grows inexplicably cold and a faint, almost imperceptible whisper can be heard. Leave, it says, but curiosity chains the feet to the ground. Nightfall brings an eerie calm. The moon casts long shadows, and it feels as if the house itself is watching, waiting. A portrait in the upstairs hallway seems to follow with its eyes. A low sobbing echoes from the attic, a sorrowful, heart-wrenching sound that seems to seep into the very bones. Midnight is a turning point. The house trembles with unseen energy. A vase shatters in the sitting room as if struck by an invisible force. The temperature drops, breaths become visible in the air and then silence. As oppressive and heavy as a blanket, the darkest hours before dawn are a time of revelations. In the basement, amidst old furniture covered in dust sheets, a shadow moves swiftly across the wall, not cast by any discernible source. It's accompanied by a cold breeze that smells faintly of lavender, a scent with no place in such a forgotten space. Sunrise again and the 24 hours are up. Stepping outside, the world seems incredibly bright, the air unbelievably fresh. Looking back at the house, it's just a building once more, its menacing presence softened by the morning light. Reflecting on the experience, it's clear that some places hold on to more than just memories. They breathe, they feel, and perhaps they remember. Whether one believes in ghosts or not, the experience in that house changes perspectives. It teaches that sometimes fear and fascination are two sides of the same coin and that the past perhaps is never truly gone.